Hey everyone, it's uh, Lisa here from Morgan Tarot. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I do apologise that I've not been um, uploading very much lately. I've had a lot of other things happening. Today being um, the 2nd of the 2nd, 2022, 2222, I feel um, I've been getting a lot of energetic downloads. Um, 22 is um, one of the most significant numbers in my life. It, um, yeah, 22 is very significant to me. So I am doing a 2 to 22 reading it's a collective reading i i got this download earlier i've been getting a lot of downloads today so um please stay with me guys i am going to be uploading more videos i've just been a little bit overwhelmed by other areas of my life i felt a very in, i felt a very strong energy of someone wanting to return i felt i i could visualize someone missing um something i could visualize someone uh listening to music and thinking about their person whether it be the radio or like their own music playlist that they play and, and, and go through and sit through their emotions. I could just, I could visualize someone sitting by a radio, sitting by a stereo, um, listening to particular songs that really take them back to where they want to be. Um, but then also like being almost like skip, oh, I, I'm not really ready to listen to that one right now. Maybe, maybe later, you know, and skipping this skipping the song skipping the track skipping the song skipping the track because they don't want to sit in that emotion at that point in time like it's almost too raw for them and maybe you know they're not quite sure where things are at with you so they don't even want to sit in that emotion and they don't want to get upset about it but that's what i was feeling i, I was feeling someone that was really seeing their emotion someone who was really thinking about you know this person um that they had these feelings for um, and and songs were how they were connecting with their feelings you know this is someone maybe that doesn't really express their emotions very well isn't very um communicative isn't very isn't good at expressing how they truly feel energy where they're, they're going through something but they're not really talking about it with anyone they're not expressing it they're just um sitting with it really deep with it i will say like not not letting it out even just like it's it's in it's within them they're just sitting in the energy they're dwelling in it they're like immersing in it and they're almost like enjoying staying in that little cocoon where they're just thinking about this connection and they're listening to songs that take them back to that place where they think about that person and they really you know they really miss that person that's the energy that i felt in my meditation the very first um message uh, and the overall energy of the reading is the ace of cups right now the ace of cups as you may already know it's very much you know um aces are about new opportunities new beginnings um uh, divinely gifted granted opportunities i see this as someone that wants to have a new opportunity with you someone who has a lot of love because the cups are about emotion and love so this is about someone wanting to offer a new opportunity a new beginning and it did very much correlate with the uh, meditation that i received then in the heart of the spread from the top three cards i got the justice energy so immediately i felt um drawn to you know the fact that there was something not quite balanced here there was something unjust something didn't quite work out between the two of you and i felt like yes there's been a separation there's been something unfair something unjust something um you know pulled you apart and we have a, an image here of two people that look like they're at you know a counseling session a therapy session a psychologist session whatever it may be um and you know they are trying to work through their differences here but there's something that's happened here that's caused them to be there right there's an there's an unjust unfamiliar energy something that's not quite right that needs to be worked through that needs to be worked out so that's the energy i got you know definitely someone that has done something to cause a, a disconnection between the two of you um, and someone that wants to now come back and offer, you know, love. All right, so the next energy I've got, um, not surprisingly, Two of Cups. So again, this person knows that you are their person. This person truly feels that you are their person. They feel like you are their soulmate. They feel guided to be with you. They feel like you're their twin flame, soulmate, whatever it may be that you're feeling, this person is feeling it, right? This person knows that you are the person, if this is your message. Um, or vice versa, please remember roles can flip-flop and reverse. This is a general reading. It's this right. It's what I keep hearing, make it right, make it right, make it right. That was um, With this Two of Cups here, this person sees you as their person. This person wants to be with you this person wants to make this right they want to fix this they want to be with you right ace of cups justice two of cups you really cannot make this up this is a very strong message about love and emotion and, and feeling as though they need to make this right they need to fix this they need to um, try to um, balance out whatever they've done here try to get you to see things differently to see that they didn't mean to hurt you that they had their own things going on here or that there was something here that caused them to do this let's get some more messages all right from there I then received and now I was literally 
uh, in that energy, I was literally thinking, you know, this person has definitely, with this justice being here, I, I don't know if I already said this, but with the justice being here, the justice card only ever comes out when there's been an injustice, right? So whoever this person is, uh, if this is your message collective, they did the wrong thing by you, right? It was very unfair, it was very unjust, and I felt a lot, a lot of pain from this message. So this person hurt you indescribably, that's all I can say, In describably and now they're really going through it right with this eights of cups two of cups they're really going through it and thinking what the hell did i do here why did i do this to the person that i love more than anything so the next energy i got was the death card now again i was not surprised to receive this because that's the energy i i initially felt what the hell what did i do here what have i caused here what's happened now with the death coming out here exactly explains what i'm talking about you know there was an ending there was an ending here i feel it was very sudden I don't have the tower, but I don't need to have the tower to feel that energy. The death is here. There was a sudden ending here. A connection ended, right? And this person with the justice and the death being here did something very, very awful to you. Very unfair, very hurtful. I then started to think, all right, what have they done? What could they possibly have done that could have caused you to feel like, that could have caused them to feel so guilty about what they've done and hurt you so badly? Then I've got the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands is literally, you know, to me, it's like a minor arcana full energy, right? This is someone that wants a new beginning, a brand new beginning, but kind of does a bit more planning maybe than the full card energy in the major arcana, but at the same time is very, is not, really is not very mature. You know, it's a very childish energy. It's someone who um, doesn't really think through everything that, you know, does a little bit of homework because the pages are, you know, um, a messengers. They are people that do a little bit of work here, that do a bit of research look into things a little bit, but they don't go deep in depth because they're a page, right? They're not a knight, they're not a king, they're not a queen. They're a page. This person is very, maybe very immature, very, they may be younger than you, or they could just literally not have enough knowledge to make this decision and not, not have enough information to make such a decision, not, not be guided in the right direction to make this choice, you know? So they've ended this connection. It's been something very unjust, something very unfair, and they've done it very in a very selfish way because this energy is very, very selfish. This person did not take the time to make, you know, to make this choice carefully, to make it um, informatively, to do the right thing by the connection. They made a choice here that was very quick, very sudden, and very immature. It was almost like a child was making, you know, a choice between what lolly they want to eat. So um, yeah, very immature, selfish energy. Someone here made a choice to go uh, away from this connection that was uh, caused an ending here that wasn't very thoughtful at all. It was very much very fleeting, um, very immature. It wasn't thought through. Um, with this, and then of course I've got the devil energy. I literally, spot, as I was pulling the energy of the Ace of Cups, the Justice and the Two of Cups, when I got the Justice energy, I immediately said to myself, I feel like the devil energy is here. I feel like it's going to come out at some point in this spread. You know, this person did something really, really awful here. And then from there, of course, you know, lo and behold, I got the death card and I get the devil card. Like you can't make this stuff up. This was a very significant download from the universe. 1444 on the clock, if that means anything to you guys, let me know if it does. Um, I was not surprised to receive the devil. So the devil is here to let me know and to let you know that this was very toxic. Whatever this person did, it was very selfish. It was very immature. Um, it wasn't very well thought through. Um, as I spoke about, you know, this person does do a bit more homework than the full energy in the major arcana, but at the same time, it doesn't mean that it's a good decision. It just means that they did a little bit of looking into this, didn't really do the work to find out, you know, to make such a significant decision in this connection. Um, it was immature. This person wasn't thinking, they might have even just literally been thinking about themselves, about how they can serve themselves and how this might suit them. It's a very immature, one-sided, selfish energy. This person could literally be addicted to the attention from others, they could be addicted to sex, they could be addicted to drugs, they could be addicted to alcohol, it could literally be anything. We, we will get some more clarity about that. But this is someone here that was very selfish and just, yeah, we've got the justice covering the devil card. Like, come on, it's a very straightforward message. This person um, was very, um, very toxic in the end um, and causes a very sudden ending that was very selfish. But I see them now sitting in a lot of guilt and remorse with the overall energy of the read. Uh, Pentacles is. When you look at this energy in and of itself, um, this is, um, you know, a very stable energy, right? The Knights of Pentacles, out of all the Knights, is the one that gets his job done. He's the one that reaches the, his goal. He gets to, you know, he achieves his mission. He always comes through for you, um, the Knight of Pentacles. However, when he's represented negatively, depending on what comes out around him, um, he can be a very slow moving energy. And he is slow, generally. He's slow all the time. But if he's, um, you know... <laughs> 
if you're surrounded by things like the Justice card, the Devil card, the Death card, um, and the Page of Wands, I feel like this person was um, giving a little bit here and there and here and there and just being a bit spread out with their energy. So, you know, coming in really slowly towards you, not offering you enough. So it's like an energy of not giving enough and coming in just gradually and slowly, just like almost breadcrumbing. It's kind of like the Six of Pentacles energy for me. Here's a little bit for you, a little bit for them, a little bit over there. So they may have been spreading their time out between you and other people, other things, other uh, hobbies, addictions, whatever it is. I feel like there is an addiction here. So I feel like that's caused this person to be a little bit sporadic and not give you enough um, wholeheartedly up front. So the Knight of Pentacles to me, you know, represented in this way, shows me someone that does want to give you what you want, but they're not quite ready to do it. So they're just going to give you a little bit almost like in portions all right so um you know here's a little bit of me now i'll give you a little bit more tomorrow a little bit more next week maybe next month i'll give you a little bit more then it's kind of like just like bread crumbing you know spreading themselves out really thinly right and i see that with the six of pentacles energy and i kind of feel like this is the energy i'm just getting that strongly that a strong message through this particular energy so i'm seeing this person um, wanting to go the long haul with you but at the same time not taking the steps to get to the long haul like taking shortcuts, like just spread breadcrumbing, like I said, just giving you a little bit here, a little bit there, but also giving to others. Now, I immediately felt like this was an energy of someone that was not giving you wholeheartedly, someone that was not being upfront and honest with you completely. And that's this page of wands energy and the devil energy and the death as well, as well as the justice. Like it's, it's really clear here. It's the devil and the justice card. Devil only comes out when it's been toxicity, right? Justice only comes out when there's been an injustice. This person is doing the wrong thing by you 100%. Now, this tells me that this person was breadcrumbing you, giving you a little bit and giving others a little bit as well. That's what I'm feeling, right? A little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit like... <laughs> reminds me of that song. What's that song? Mumbo number five, a little bit of Mary by my side, a little bit of da 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 da. It's like giving to multiple people whatever they want to hear, whatever they want here. What I'm hearing, that is what I'm feeling. I'm going to trust my intuition 100%. What do you think I got next, guys? After I was literally speaking about breadcrumbing and spreading themselves thin, I then got the Seven of Cups. This is not made up, guys. I swear to God, swear on my dad's ashes. This is the story I got. I, I mean, I'm, you know, it might seem like I'm making this up, but I'm definitely not. I was just speaking about that, and I was thinking that as I pulled this energy, and then I got the Seven of Cups. So this person is literally... This person is literally spreading themselves between multiple people. The Seven of Cups is literally about having options. It's about being unsure. It's about in, being indecisive. It's about, you know, having options. To, this is a very indecisive energy. Someone who doesn't know quite what to do here, which cup to choose, right? So they're presented with all these opportunities and they're just not sure which one they're going to take, right? So I was... Honestly, guys, I cannot make this stuff up. After I got this Knight of Pentacles and I read it in that way, that this person was breadcrumbing and spreading themselves thin, which is why they weren't coming in faster towards this connection and they were coming in slow, slow but steady. I do feel like they've been offering you something, you know, that, that keeps you there, that makes you feel like, okay, they're giving me something, I'm happy with that. Um, but at the same time, you have your doubts because this person is being toxic, yeah? This person is not, you know, being quite immature or just not giving you enough with this Page of Wands energy. This person ended something with you you know this person um you know there's an ending here you guys aren't together right now right and and i feel like this person caused this ending and they feel very bad about it and now they're kind of like okay i'll give them a little bit i'll tell them that i miss them i'll tell them that you know i want to be with them still i don't know this knight of pentacles feels like someone who's kind of putting in a little bit of energy it's just minimal it's breadcrumbing it's kind of keeping you hanging in there it's like just you know let's keep this option open i want this option to stay here if i want it just in case other things don't turn out the seven of cups just confirms to me you know and I, after that i just kind of i just couldn't believe it i saw this and i thought oh my god this is literally the energy of the knight of pentacles that i just got even though a knight of pentacles is usually when I read it quite stable, comes in, you know, it's like for them, it's like a marathon, not a race. This person is kind of like doing that strategically. Like just giving them a little bit means that I have options to maybe pull out later if something better comes along or if my options are different and I can, you know. Wow. Anyway, Seven of Cups, someone who has options here, someone who is still very indecisive, unsure where to go, maybe a little bit elusive here, maybe like, um, you know, maybe... You might even feel like, you might even feel like this is a bit of an illusion, this whole connection, you know, this ending, this whatever. You might be thinking, what the hell is going on here? What are they trying to tell me? What's happening here? I'm confused. This is literally a card of confusion, 
illusion. You know, someone here doesn't know what they want. They're very indecisive and unsure about what they want. So they're kind of keeping their options open is what I'm seeing. And that's what I felt with this Knight of Pentacles energy. And to be honest, that is not normally how I read a Knight of Pentacles. So I'm going to be honest, that's not how I normally read it. But because it's covered by the Devil, the Page of Wands and the Death card, that's what I immediately felt like someone was breadcrumbing you and being very toxic about this connection, um, being very selfish about this connection um, after an ending here, right? Three of Cups, right? <laughs> like, I don't want to be cliche here, but Three of Cups for me, it's quite often third party energy, but it really depends on what's come out, or what comes out around it. It can have other multiple meanings for me too. It really depends what comes with it. But with the Seven of Cups and now the Three of Cups, um, after reading um, the energy that I got from the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, the Page of Wands and the Death card, this person has caused an ending by having multiple options and third parties. You cannot make this stuff up. This is the energy. This is the message I'm getting from Spirit, right? I'm hearing that though that they're giving more to one than the other. I don't know what that means. Take it as it resonates. Um, you know, like I said, they have choices and options here, but I feel like they're they're spending more energy, more time, more whatever on one than the other option. Could be you, could be someone else. I, I feel like if this is your message, you'll know what I mean here. Someone's getting a bit more time, a bit more energy than others. It could be that they're focusing on one particular person. Could even be a thing, but I feel more like it's a person because the Seven of Cups resonates. Uh, Seven of Cups reflects them having multiple options here and not being sure which option to take. So maybe this message means for the collective, if this is your message, if it's resonating, that they are giving more to one person than they are to the others that they have the options between. It's not being committal with one person and one thing. And of course, there's an ending here. So there's been an ending here, but I feel as though this person does want to make this right with you. If this is your message. However, I do still feel like they're keeping options here. For the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups to be here, I feel as though they're keeping options here. Cups is what I got next, right? Um, and that is for me, you know, very single energy, someone who has all of the cups, you know, all nine cups out of 10, right? They're doing pretty well in and of themselves. In fact, they're doing very, very well. Um, you know, this is a wish fulfillment card as well. This is like literally having everything you need and you literally just have that one other wish that you want and, you know, that's love generally, right? Because you are in a single energy and you're bossing up, you're leveling up, your vibration is high, you're doing really well generally in life and an area that you really need to glow up in and, and, glow, and, and improve in is love, right? So you want that 10th cup, you want cup number 10 to to move forward in life and have that happiness and wish fulfillment. So this is very much wish fulfillment. This is someone that wants to, um, you know, to receive that and, and, and this to me shows me that it's coming in here so um with this um nine of cups here i feel as though this again is very much about um wish fulfillment coming in here now i feel like this is um your message right so if you are someone that's watching this message right now and you are feeling as though wow this is heavy this is shit you know this person is really doing a number on me i feel like this is here to tell you hang in there wish fulfillment is coming in you know whatever you're wishing for if this is the person that you want to be with wish fulfillment looks like it's on its way if this is meant to be for you if it's not meant to be for you then the universe will you know will, 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 will take this away from you because it's not right for you so i'm not going to have we will clarify what that means in a little bit but yeah the nine of cups for me is wish fulfillment it's someone who's in a very single energy and i see that's what you are in now um i see you in a very you know abundant energy where you're doing quite well but you you're obviously missing this person and you love this person and you're probably still going through a lot of trauma here after this ending it does feel like it was sudden it feels like it was very unfair unjust and they could have done something really really nasty here with the devil and the justice and the death card so this person i feel like again this flips back to your person collective this person is really going through it and that's why I got the energy of the Ace of Cups, the Justice and the Two of Cups as the overall energy of this read. This person, whoever this person is, um, if this is your message, they are going through it right now. They're feeling very guilty, very remorseful, very um, upset about what they've done here. This person knows very deeply and they're very in, deeply in tune with this that they've done the wrong thing by you. I do feel as though this person has a lot of love for you. I'm not going to lie. This person does have a lot of love for you. Um, but at the same time, they do have a very selfish energy. Now, I do feel as though it's connected to whatever this addictive energy is that's in the heart of the spread. Because we have the justice covering the devil energy, right? And we have this wish fulfillment card below it. So I feel as though whatever it is that keeps this person from giving to you what they want to give to you, this toxic, 
behavior, this unjust, unfair behavior. It's something that they want to get rid of, right? With this um, Nine of Cups here. They don't want to be like this, you know? Their wish is to get rid of this toxic energy, to get rid of this toxic habit, this way of thinking, this behavior. But I feel like they don't have any control over it, is what I'm hearing. No control, I'm hearing. No control. I don't feel like they have any control over whatever it is that they've done to you, you know? I know that sounds terrible because we all have free will, we do all have choices, but when I'm saying no control, what I mean by that is they um, they do have control, of course, that's not literally what I mean, but I feel like um, they feel as though they have no control. So that's something that they need to deal with. That is, a, you know, that is um, literally their problem to deal with. Um, their healing is reliant upon them, you know, is reliant upon them facing the problem head on and dealing with it because you know it's not just going to go away it's something that they need to do that that they, that they need to work on so um this is something that they want to be rid of it's something that they want to be free from it's something that they don't want to feel anymore it's not a problem that they want to have but it's there you know it's 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 like how can i how can i give you an example um it's like when we have a mental health problem right we don't want it to be there but it's there so we, we kind of have to face up to it so that we can actually address it. Because if we don't acknowledge it, if we don't, um, you know, acknowledge that it's there and that it's happening to us, then we can't change the reality of it. So I do feel as though this person, I feel as though this person knows that there's something not right about them. They know that they've got a problem. They know that they've got an addiction, a toxic behavior, a way of being, a selfish way of being. They're breadcrumbing. They're not giving that they should. They, you know, they've, they've cut you out very suddenly, even though they love you, right? So there's something not right about that. So I feel like they're almost wishing that they could be different. They're wishing that they could be a different person. Someone that doesn't do toxic things. Someone that doesn't have a toxic addiction or behavior or way of thinking or, you know, someone that's hurt you. They don't want to be someone that's hurt you. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. That's why this Nine of Cups is also here. You are glowing up. You're bossing up. You're in a very heavy, you know, independent energy here and you know your worth. But I also feel like this is a shared energy. Yeah, it's definitely shared energy. Your person um, wants, they, they're wishing that they could be rid of the devil energy. They, they're wishing they could be rid of that devil energy. Whatever it is, it's it's lingering over them. It's, it's really bothering them. It's really bothering them. And I feel that, I feel that energy also with the seven of cups. Someone that's pretending, I'm, I'm getting this person pretending amongst friends, they're, they're partying, they're doing things socially, pretending that they're okay, but they're really not, you know, they're, they're really deep in this energy, they're really feeling bad about what they've done to you, but they're almost like just pretending it didn't happen and they're partying or doing something socially that just makes them look like they're fine. Three feelings are when they're alone at night, when they're by themselves and no one else is around, they're truly upset about what they've done to you extremely upset very 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 remorseful very guilty very upset uh, i even hear that they might even be crying or shedding tears definitely not sleeping well what i'm hearing not sleeping well at all okay the next two energies i got when i asked about this in a message is the seven and eight of pentacles so eight first then seven right so i kind of feel like this was showing me that this person that is really sitting in their, you know, guilt and remorse here about what they've done to this, this third party energy, um, is and, and wishing that they could be rid of this toxic addiction or behavior that they're engaging in or whatever they've done to you, they, they wish that they could erase it. That's another message I'm getting. The message I'm getting with this Nine of Cups is definitely they wish that they could, you know, erase what they've done. I'm hearing erase it, get rid of it, take it away. They want to like pretend that they never did it, right? They want to like, in their mind, they're almost pretending it never happened. It's kind of like um, uh, a survival tactic. What's the word I want? It's survival tactic. It's like um, denial. That's it, denial. They're denying it happened almost, you know, that they're not the person that they are, that they were, that they, that they did this to you. I, I see this person like, um, you know, almost being in denial about this. Like, I didn't really do that. Something was wrong with me at the time. I wasn't thinking straight. You know, almost making excuses for it is what I'm hearing. Take it as it resonates. All right, um, seven and eight of pentacles. I see this person who put a lot of work into other options. Now, because it's covering the um, seven of cups and the three of cups, I do see that um, this person, this message, if this is your message, this person put a lot of time and effort. These two cards are covering these two cards. So um, with the seven of cups, three of cups here, we spoke about this third party energy very heavily. This person had options here. Um, and I see this person as, you know, I feel like they did put a lot of time and energy into whatever this third party was, or at least into 
exploring the options, right? Even if they didn't give a lot to one person, even though I do feel them giving more to one than the other, like I spoke about already, that they, you know, did put a lot of time and effort. The Seven of Pentacles is literally about, you know, putting in the work and waiting for the results to come in, you know? It's about waiting for that growth to happen. And the Eight of Pentacles is really putting in that hard work and seeing the results. Um, so I kind of feel that this energy is that your person, if this is your message, you know, um, did put a lot of effort into moving away from this connection. And I feel like that's why they're feeling so guilty about it, you know? I feel like that's why they're sitting in their wish fulfillment that they never did this, right? That they were never toxic, that they were never unjust with those cards covering each other. Um, but I do see them putting a lot of effort and time into a third party situation or into um, multiple options, whatever it was that they were doing, whether it would be one person or multiple things. It could, remember third parties don't have to be a person or a love situation. It could literally be work. It could be family, you know, toxic family, toxic friends, people that are controlling over their lives. It literally could be anything. So do remember it doesn't have to be a person. I do feel like it's a person, but it may not be. So take it as it resonates. It's gonna be different for a group, different group of people as well. Some of you are gonna say, you know, this is a person, but others of you may th you know, may resonate with, oh yes, that was their work situation. That was their new business that they started. That was, you know, um, their aunt Sally, you know. It's going to be different for different people, but overall, mostly I feel like it's a person or persons rather, because I feel like there's more than one person involved in this situation. It could even be friends and a partner. Like, take it as it resonates. I'm feeling a heavy, heavy, heavy energy of multiple people being involved in this, you know? Um, whatever it is, multiple people. Not just one, but multiple. And I thought they've given more time and energy to one thing than another. Um, but yeah, they're sitting in their emotions. They're sitting in guilt and remorse. They're feeling very regretful about what they've done. But at the same time, they do acknowledge that they have put a lot of time and effort into whatever that was. Whatever they did go towards they it seems that they did put a lot of work into it and now they're wishing that they never did and they're wishing that they could erase it is what i'm hearing all right next i got the temperance energy now sagittarius energy major arcana i do feel as though this is a message that you put in a lot of time waiting for this person you waited for this person to do the right thing by you you waited for this person to be fair and right and just and choose you because I'm hearing that they, you know, they had a lot of choices here and they didn't make a choice here. So you were very patient, I'm feeling, and you kind of waited for the right time for this to happen. You thought, okay, it'll happen when it's meant to happen. Um, but at the same time, I'm feeling like divine timing is at play here, right? And this person is coming back to you in divine timing if that is what you choose to take, right? This message here at the very beginning, Ace of Cups, Justice, Two of Cups, this person is returning to your life. They want to, they want to make things right. Um, and they're doing it in divine timing after you spend a lot of time waiting for them a lot of time waiting i'm hearing a lot of time okay with this nine of wands energy i'm seeing this as your person here now you are uh tempering yourself here you've been very patient you've been waiting but this nine of wands energy i see more as your person here they have been um they're really going through it right now you know they're in a mental health energy they're guarded defensive they're going through all of their past actions and they're feeling really guilty and remorseful about it but they're also like really stuck in it the one you know the knight of wands is very much my mental health energies this is someone who is struggling with the past here struggling to get through it struggling to be okay with themselves struggling to make it right with themselves you know so they do want to fix this they do want to come out of this energy but they're stuck in it i'm hearing that they're very stuck right now they're mentally stuck you know they're they're not really they're not sleeping well. They're not doing well at all. That's what I'm feeling. You know, this, this energy is a very, very difficult mental health energy. And we can see that here. We even got the children arguing and the, and the parent is like, I just can't do this anymore. A lot of worries are going on in their life, I'm hearing. They may have other things outside of this connection that are also bothering them and burdening them. But nevertheless, this person did the wrong thing by you and they're now going through that. This is a karmic justice, right? Got the Seven of Swords. Now, the Seven of Swords is literally the most deceptive um, betrayal, you know, the most deceptive, toxic, betraying energy in the deck, right? With the Seven of Swords coming out with this Nine of Wands, it shows me that your person, if this is your message collective, that, you know, they are, they're very remorseful and regretful about whatever they've done here, you know? That's why they're in this mental health energy. They're very, they're struggling with whatever they did, and it was, whatever they did was very toxic, you know, it, it betrayed the connection, it caused an injustice here, it caused the devil energy to be here, it caused an ending, right? A sudden ending is what I keep hearing, sudden ending. They were breadcrumbing, they may even still be breadcrumbing is what I'm hearing. 
we still have the seven of cups and the three of cups showing up and i do still feel like it's a it's a present energy it could be the past take it as it resonates kind of um swords energy here coming out with this knight of wands showing me that they're really going through it at the moment um, and it's because of their toxic, deceptive behavior in the past. This person has been very selfish, very sneaky. This person has tried to get away with something here. You know, there's no doubt about it. You know, you can see them like coming out of a window here, you know, um, with their shoes in their hand. This is literally to display someone who's been, you know, um, unfaithful, trying to sneak out of a window and try to get away with it. It's literally just the energy of the, of the message. This person is trying to, has tried to get away with something here and now they're really sitting in their emotions. They're like, did I really just do that? Have I done this for this person? This person I really love and really care about. I've kept options, I've kept choices, I've betrayed them, I have breadcrumbed them, I have, you know, been giving a little bit to multiple people. I feel like they're really going through it now, you know. They're in a very serious mental health energy is what I'm hearing. This is someone who is maybe even needing to seek support because of what they've done in the past. Now, you know, this is the choice that, that they've made ultimately, but we need to remember to go easy on these people because we are, none of us are perfect um, and we all make mistakes. And this person very much, I feel, um, yeah, I feel like this person is very regretful and remorseful about the decision that they've made. Um, I'll let you decide whether they're worthy of forgiveness or not because all of your situations are going to be different, right? Okay, the next energy I've got is the Hermit. So after we've got the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and now the Hermit, after the Temperance, I do feel as though this person is not communicating with you right now. So if this is your message collective, this person may have even ghosted you. We literally have someone that looks like a ghost here. This person could have done wrong by you and then ghosted you. And I mean cut you off and not be communicating with you at all. This person could be, you know, communicating very little with you. Um, but I do see them keeping an eye on you because the Hermit energy for me is someone who has cut off from the connection, who's holding back, uh, still holding on to the connection, but holding back and maybe just keeping an eye on you from a distance and from afar. Even if you live locally to each other, they're just like watching you um, from afar, whether it be on social media or just driving by your house to see what you're up to, but they're not communicating. They're just keeping to themselves because I feel like there's a strong energy here of being very guilty here. Um, you know, very remorseful as well, as we've already talked about. But, you know, they almost feel like they're too guilty to even face you right now. And that could be why they're not communicating. It could be why they're ghosting you. It could be why they're blocking you. They could have blocked you literally or you've blocked them. I see a blocked ghosting kind of energy here with this hermit energy. Definitely not communicating or communicating very little if you are. So, um, and it could very much be because of the shame and guilt that they carry about what they've done to you. All right, then I've got the Queen of Wands uh, with the High Priestess. So I feel as though uh, with this Queen of Wands coming out to start with, this for me is very much a third party energy when, you know, someone may, may have a mistress. Um, third party energy, mistress energy, you know, when the Queen of Wands come out, she's um, very alluring, very sexual, very, you know, attractive. You know, she can be someone that um, can lure someone out of a connection. So um, take it as it resonates. I feel like, you know, this um, message is for, you know, is, is to show that whatever they went towards, you know, it did, you know, catch their attention. It drew them away from the connection. Like I said, I feel like one person more than others, I feel like they had multiple options, but one person in particular, one option in particular was more attractive to them. Or it literally could resonate with you. You could be this Queen of Wands that they choose. You know, I take it as it resonates. It's either that they chose this um, Queen of Wands as the person they went towards, that they've given most of their energy towards, like I spoke about earlier. Or it could literally be that now they see you. It could be even two different stories for two different groups of people. Some of you, this could be literally the person that they gave their energy and time to out of the choice that they made, out of the multiple options that they had. Or this literally could be, for some of you, you. This could be you showing up as this Queen of Wands. They're seeing you as someone that is worthy of their time, someone who's very attractive, very beautiful, someone who... This could literally be you, you know, being seen by them as extremely attractive, very sexual, very, you know, someone they want to attain, you know, because the Queen of Wands gets exactly what she wants. So if you don't want them, then you don't have them. But this could literally show that this person views you as a Queen of Wands, someone very, um, you know, sexy, someone that they want to, you know, they want to choose them and you get to choose whether you take them or not, you know, that's the energy of getting. So, you know, you can, you can decide whether that your message is that this is relaying about the person that they went towards or it literally could be you or it could even be both um the high priestess shows me that you know you really trust in your intuition here if this is your message collective you know um this person does keep secrets the high priestess is very secretive you know they um don't tell us everything um as humans they do keep certain things to themselves but behind that secret veil that they have they only tell us what we need to know right 
Um, and the High Priestess does tell us the things that we do need to know via our intuition, which is what our intuition is all about. The High Priestess literally represents our intuition. Uh, the Empress was what I got next, and the Three of Wands. So with the Empress and the Three of Wands, I feel as though, you know, you're really fococusing right now on yourself, on yourself, right? Uh, if this is your message, uh, Collective, you're focusing on yourself, self-care, self-love. You're literally the, you know, the mother of new beginnings. You know, you birth new beginnings, right? And I see you, you know, having a new beginning here. And you get to choose whether it's with this person or with it, whether it's not with this person. And, you know, you move on and have something new. Whatever it is here, you're going to have a new beginning here. Um, if this connection comes back around for you and that's what you decide, then you're going to have a brand new beginning. Because the Empress is literally, to me... And from a lot of readers, she is above all of the queens in the deck, right? She is literally the mother of creation. She's she's the birth of creation. She, you know, brings about everything that she wants to be into being, right? So I'm seeing if this is your message, you get to choose exactly what you want here. Whether you have this person back into your life is your choice, or whether you have a brand new beginning is up to you. And we've got the three of wands to finish out the cards from the tarot spread. And then I'm going to go into some oracle messages. But the three of one shows me that you are ready to expand here. This is someone who's waiting for their ships to come in. This is someone who wants to grow, wants to move on, wants to have something better than what they already have. You know, wants to um, expand their horizons, right? Waiting for their ships to come in. You know, traveling even at times. You could be traveling towards this person or, or vice versa. Or you literally could be traveling towards a whole new beginning, right? So this is you seeking something new here. Um, even if it means a new beginning with the same person, you definitely want things to transform and change and be different, right? And we do have the death energy here, which is literally about transformation. You don't want things to be the same as they were in the past because, again, that didn't work out, so there's a reason for that. So, you know, you're really glowing up here. You're trusting your intuition here. You're having a new beginning here, and you are expanding and, and getting growth here. So I do see a very positive um, message to close out the read from the tarot. Sorry, I had to pause there because my uh, lighting went out, but that does not matter because I'm just going to continue the read. Um, to get this read out, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I got from the Oracle. All right, so um, from my Romance Angel Oracle deck, I got the Reconciliation Energy. So guys, you know, this shows me that and this person, again, they do want to reconcile. And that's the energy I got from the very beginning here. This Ace of Cups, Justice, Two of Cups. Someone who feels like your soulmate. Someone who wants to make this right. Someone who wants to do the right thing by you. Uh, someone from your past is returning to your life. So I do feel as though whoever this message that you're, you know, whoever you're watching this message about, it does look as though this person does want to reconcile with you. Um, playfulness is here, which shows me this person, you know, wants to, you know, recapture some kind of playful energy that you guys had in the past. You know, give your romance, you know, give your relationship a chance is next. Uh, work on your partnership here. I feel like whatever you guys had in the past, you know, this person wants to recreate that with you here. They want to have that fun, energetic, um, you know, beautiful connection with you and reconcile. Um, finances and career is here, which means that there could be some kind of financial factor that it is impacting on your connection. It could even literally be, you know, um, that your person has had to move away for work. You've had to move away or, um, you know, they've had to move house or some kind of impact from their finances um, or their career has caused the connection to, you know, change in some way. Even if they had to move states or countries to do their job you know think about it very carefully about how that could resonate with your particular situation there is something here about finances and career that has impact on your connection um, and then we've got the very soon message clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so it does look as though um, you know whatever it is very soon something is going to change whether it be um, you know towards this connection or away from this connection you're going to get some form of outcome some kind of um, understanding about where you're going in this connection right and that's what we all want even if it's not you know positive at least we know what's happening from there right all right from the uh island time oracle the messages i got uh photograph so i did feel this heavy energy from the beginning that someone was watching you so they are looking at your photos they are reminiscing they are you know thinking about the memories that you guys had um you know they're missing you right and then I've got the uh, Cupid's arrow message to so this person. You know, they do see that you are their person. I've spoke about this already. 
um, Eight of Cups, Two of Cups overall energy here. This person um, does have faith that you know that you're coming back to their life, but again, it's up to you whether that happens or not, right? And then I have uh, the cassette energy here. I feel like they're kind of replaying events that has happened in the past here. Um, you know, cassette is very much about past energy. It's about replaying things. Cassettes can replay and forward and go backwards and so on. Uh, the tape, you know, goes backward and goes forward and stops and pauses and plays. So it, it's kind of a metaphor for your connection, you know. Replaying events over in your head and going backwards and forwards about whatever's happened in the past in this connection. Uh, the chaser is here, which shows me that I do feel as though you were in a connection that was a runner chaser dynamic, which is very common. And you may have been the chaser, the person that was chasing after this person. Uh, seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Now, we've already spoke very heavily about the third party interference. I do feel as though there is a very heavy third party interference that caused an ending in your connection. I've got the healing heart here. I do see that you are focusing on healing here. And your person could be mirroring you, mirroring you in that regard. But I do see that that there is healing here, um, healing from the heartbreak. Um, you know, letting go a toxic past connection. Um, love call here. Now this could represent, you know, um, this person as I spoke about your person. If this is your message collective, you know, making a call towards you. Um, you know, calling you and expressing their love to you. You know, um, you know, thinking about you and letting you know because we do have that energy very heavily here. We have the healing heart. We have the seduction energy, we have the Cupid's arrow energy, we have the cassette, we have the photograph. Focusing on the positive energy from the past that you guys have had. They're really focusing on the love that you shared, the depth of the love that you shared and what you had. Like they, they, they are really focusing on the past and when it was really good. They're not focusing on any of the, you know, anything difficult or challenging that happened here, this ending, this blockage, this betrayal. None of that is coming into their mindset. They're very much thinking about you know, the good times that you guys had and that's what they want to express to you. They, that's why the Cupid's arrow is here. You know, this person wants to have faith that, you know, you guys are going to be able to come back together. This person with the cassette is, you know, is thinking about what's happened in the past and how beautiful it was. This person wants to seduce you. This person is reminiscing over your photos. You know, this person, you know, is thinking about, you know, this kind of runner chaser dynamic that you guys had in the past. And, you know, they want to stop that with this healing energy and they want to make it so that you guys just come together and have a beautiful connection here. Um, and, you know, with this karmic relationship here, I feel like they, they've learned some very karmic lessons here. And I feel like you have. You both have learned a very karmic uh, lesson from this. You guys met each other for a reason. You triggered each other. You had turmoil, turmoil for a reason. You had to let go and move on for a reason, right? Um, and I feel like, you know, that's why it's here. This karmic relationship is here for a reason. Um, the runner here shows me again, we spoke about the runner chaser dynamic. I feel like you guys had a runner chaser dynamic. You've got the runner and the chaser here. And the sunglasses again, we spoke about that already with the camera and the sunglasses. I'm uh, sorry, we spoke about that with the photograph already. The sunglasses is here to say, you know, they are watching you, they are looking at you, they may be stalking you, that, you know, page of swords energy. Um, yeah, they're definitely trying to find out if you have, you know, someone else in your life right now because they're not going to come towards you unless they know that you are single. But I do see it happening very soon here, right? Very soon, uh, this person is going to come towards you. They do want you, you know, to give this relationship a chance. Um, they do want to be playful with you. And, you know, they do want to reconcile with you. But again, as we spoke about already, Finances and career have had an impact on the connection in some way, but I do see uh, reconciliation as your overall energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have got express your love. At the bottom of the Island Time Oracle, we've got the butterfly, which is literally about healing. You know, it's about healing. It's about going into the next next phase of the connection. It's about growth, right? It's about moving on from the past. There is definitely a heavy energy here of moving on from the past. Um, okay, so let's clarify. Um, at the bottom of the tarot deck that I've been pulling from, I've got the Page of Cups, which for me is very much about um, apologies. You know, the Page of Cups is someone that, um, you know, comes in with an apology or wants to, you know, apologize for their behavior. Um, I then have the star energy, which again is about healing. This is about someone who's wishing upon a star, wanting to change things between the two of you. And we have the ten of wands, carrying that heavy burden and trying to drop that burden. It does look as though you guys have been in some form of a break here. And this person does want to travel towards you. If they are at a distance from you, if they do live interstate or in another country, they do want to come towards you and have some kind of a victory here, some kind of success and victory. Or they literally, if they don't, they just want to travel towards you and have a victory in this connection, right? 
All right, so I'm going to clarify just a couple of these messages, then we'll get a final outcome, and then we'll finish from there. Clarify from the beginning, why um, is the justice here? What injustice occurred in this connection? Please show us what injustice occurred in this connection. So we're exploring the justice energy that we got in the heart of the spread from the very beginning of the message. We've got the Ace of Cups, the uh, Justice and the Two of Cups. So why is the Justice card here uh, relating to this message? Let's find out. Queen of Swords. Okay, so it looks as though, um, you know, this person was very brutal towards you. Perhaps um, with the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is very open and honest and upfront. She's a truth, you know, she's a truth teller. She's a truth seeker and she doesn't take any bullshit, basically. So I do see that this is basically, I feel like this is your energy, right? I feel like you knew that this person was not being honest and upfront with you. So clarifying this justice here, you basically were like, you know what? I know that you're not being honest with me. I know that you're not being upfront with me. I know that you're lying to me. I know that there is a truth that I need to find out. And you were ready, you know, you were ready, willing and seek, you know, ready and willing to seek that truth. And I feel like you did seek that truth here. This Queen of Swords um, received the truth and clarity that she needed, which again came to, you know, came to towards this ending here that we definitely see an ending here, right? But I do see someone that really wants to um, move on from that and have a new beginning here. But of course, it's up to free will whether that happens. All right, let's clarify the uh, death. You know, why is this ending here? Just to get a clarify to see if I'm on the right track here. Whoop. Oh, okay. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so the Ten of Pentacles shows me that someone um, was seeking stability outside of this connection. So the Ten of Pentacles is literally about having that happy, you know, stability, foundation, home life, you know, whatever it is that they were seeking. Um, they were seeking some form of stability outside of the connection, which caused an ending here. So, and I did feel as though they were, you know, going towards another connection. So it does seem as though whatever they went towards this person, this situation could have had family involved. It could have had children. It could have been about, you know, um, you know, uh, buying a house together, you know, renting a house together, whatever it may be. But there's some form of them trying to, you know, build, trying to attain some kind of stability with this person, uh, with children, with family, some kind of. Yeah, for them it was about having some form of stability here with this Ten of Pentacles. So this ending occurred because they were seeking some form of long-term stability. Even if it wasn't real, even if it was, wasn't genuine, even if it wasn't realistic, that's what they were seeking at the time, right? All right, let's clarify this Page of Wands. Why is this Page, page of Wands here showing a very immature energy? Two of Cups. So yeah, and I spoke about this already, you know, how this Page of Wands kind of is very selfish and immature and just goes after what they want without a lot of thought. Again, with this Two of Cups, I do, do feel as though they went towards something new, something very toxic. It didn't have to be long term. It literally just shows me that this person did in fact go towards a romantic connection because I spoke about how it didn't have to be this third party energy, didn't have to be another person. I felt that clarifies with the Two, two of Cups that they did go towards, you know, another person. Um, very immaturely, very prematurely is another word I want to say. Premature. They didn't really look into it that deep, you know, in, in depth here. And um, <clears throat> yeah, they definitely they definitely went towards another connection here. Now um, let's clarify. Now let's clarify the devil energy here. Why is the devil? Why is the devil in this reading? Why is the devil here for the collective um, message? Why is the devil here in relation to this reading? Thank you, spirit. Why is the devil here? Yep, the fool. Because this person was seeking to have a new beginning here. You know, this toxic, um, the devil, as I spoke about, the devil, as I spoke about, is very much here because this person was looking for a new beginning. This person was seeking some kind of gratitude, their ego to be stroked, you know, their whatever habit or toxic behavior they were engaging in. They were looking for something new here. They were looking to change things, switch things up. Maybe you weren't willing to accept, you know, the toxic behavior that they were engaging in. I'm not sure. But, you know, I do see someone here that's trying to, you know, cover it up and maybe start again with someone new who doesn't quite know about all of their um, toxic behaviors um, here. Find out um, about this third party energy. We do have the Seven of Cups and the Three of Cups here. All right, let's find out why is the uh, Three of Cups, Seven of Cups. So we did get the Nine of Cups after that as well, didn't we? All right, we've got the Moon here, yeah. So this person was definitely keeping secrets from you here. 
with this seven of cups uh three of cups we now have the moon it looks as though you know your person collective was definitely keeping secrets about whatever third party energy they were engaging in here i feel like you already know this though guys you know with this hermit energy here the seven of swords energy nine of wands this person was being very secretive very guarded they weren't really telling you what they were moving into here uh, what they were getting up to even right so um let's get a clarifier now wow the justice just showed itself to me even though i'm not asking all right yeah it's definitely injustice here all right uh this five of cups why is uh why is your person if this is your message really sitting in their emotions yeah will of fortune which was actually came out in reverse so i feel as though there is a very karmic message here you know um this person is really going through something very karmic here which they deserve to receive because they did the they did the wrong thing by you and now they're receiving their karmic justice and as it coming out in, re in reverse even though i don't really take reversals i see that kind of as a side note for me that this person is going through something very challenging but it's fully deserved right it's deserved because they did the wrong thing in the first place which caused them to be in their energy and guys the justice card has just come out again in my shuffling you cannot make this stuff up you know, um, I feel like that's here as a bit of a, a cover for the five of, pen, uh, five of Cups here. You know, this person is really going through it here, right? Five of Cups, the Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune. You know, karmic, the Karmic Wheel is here. The Karmic Justice Wheel is here. This person is going through a Karmic Justice Wheel because they did the wrong thing by you, by this connection, by the universe, by their guides, by their angels. You can't do that and expect there's not going to be any consequences. This person was keeping options and it's literally covering the area that they were keeping secrets from, right? We literally have the death covering it, the page of wands uh, and the, the devil energy with the uh, three of cups, the seven of cups, the moon energy, the five of cups. You know, all of that energy is in the same section of the read. There's a reason for that, right? All right. Uh, let's get a final clarifier for... Let's finish this read off guys i we've got a very clear message about what happened here someone was very selfish and toxic in this connection was thinking of themselves and now they're suffering the consequences for that i have a clarifier for what's a seven of swords about a seven of swords is one of the most sneaky deceptive energies in the deck let's find out why the seven of swords is here even though we kind of have a really good idea here that there's been um injustices here let's find out why is this seven of swords here Clarify the clarify the seven of swords. Seven of swords. All right, we've got two messages. We've got the ace of cups and the queen of wands. So yeah, this seven of swords shows me that you know this person, queen of wands, is literally my my mistress energy. Someone was trying to go towards another connection. Ace of cups. Aces are about new beginnings. Cups are about love and emotion. It looks as though this person was trying to have a new beginning elsewhere here. With the Seven of Cups, uh, Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Wands, uh, literally clarifying a karmic, um, you know, literally clarifying a mistress energy. And we do have the mistress energy here as well, doubly with the Queen of Wands. So yeah, it does look as though this person was trying to expand towards a Queen of Wands energy, which is why they're perhaps ghosting you and trying to, you know, rebirth a whole new beginning here with this Empress energy when it's represented negatively. All right, um, all right, guys, let's get some overall advice to finish out the read. I'm going to use a different deck. I'm going to use my um, Lightseer's Tarot. All right, um, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, and the Universe, can I please have some um, advice about the outcome for this overall energy for the collective? It's been a very challenging connection, it seems. It does look as though this person is wanting to return. But there's been a lot of water under the bridge is what I'm seeing, right? So yeah, there's definitely third party energy here quite heavily. Um, it's going to be a challenging connection to restart. I see that. Um, if that's what you want. If not, then you can, you know, let this go and move on. Um, I'll let you make that decision. All right. Uh, spirit guys, getting angels, of the universe. Can I please have uh, an overall outcome for this collective message? What will happen? Received a lot of messages here. What is the outcome? Okay, so we've so far I've got the Temperance energy, the Nine of Wands, 
the five of wands, the ten of pentacles, the seven of wands. Can I get three, four, five? Can I get can I get an outcome message? Please, outcome message. Okay, I've got four, I'll take those. Alright. So I've got the uh, Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Sun, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, okay. We've actually got three Eights here, guys. The eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Can't make this stuff up, right? Okay. Alright, so um, as an outcome message, it does look as though Divine Timing is definitely at play here. You know, we already have the um, the Temperance here in the, made, in the spread. And, um, yeah, there's definitely an element of timing here, you know, waiting, waiting for healing to take place, you know, thinking about the past, this karmic, you know, chasing, running, chasing dynamic, looking at photos, you know, wanting to rehash the past and have, a, you know, a new beginning, but also like focusing on a new beginning, but also focusing on what's happened in the past, although there's been some very toxic things that things that have happened and we have the nine of wands here again which again we already have um we already had in the major spread as well and i spoke about you know how this person was in a very you know um mental health energy so perhaps you're both in that energy right now and and karmic justice is here for the temperance things are going to happen in divine timing as an outcome the five of wands shows me that there's been a lot of conflict and drama between the two of you you've definitely had your day you've shared your day in the courtroom here so to speak Ten of Pentacles shows me that you guys both want this. You both want this to be stable, secure, long-term, and have a you know a really balanced, long-term, stable commitment. With Seven of Wands here, I do see that you're both very defensive and guarded. I see that as a mutual energy, um, and I feel that within this reading, right? I feel like there's been a lot of um, a lot of tension here, right? Uh, a lot of tension within this connection. Uh, with this Eight of Wands, it shows me that there is definitely forward movement happening here. Whether it be ending this or beginning this again, there is something happening very quickly, very fast in the near future. So if this is what you want, it looks like it's going to happen very promptly. Um, we have that covering literally the Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment here. I spoke about that already. You know, um, I feel like, you know, that's something that you both want here. That's covering that. The High Priestess has the Eight of Cups here, which again shows me there's definitely been an ending here. We know that. We've got the death here. We've got the devil here. Um, there's definitely been something very toxic that has ended here. There's been secrets kept here with the moon about, you know, the options that have been kept. Um, Eight of Pentacles is here twice as well. There's a reason for that. This person has put a lot of time and energy into keeping secrets from you and to putting into whatever this third party energy was. With the sun being here, I feel like, you know... You both feel like this is your home. You feel like this is your reality. You feel like this is your happiness. Your truthful, you know, new beginning is here. So I feel like it's a very mutual energy that you love each other, that you see each other as your happiness. Because the sun is the happiest card in the deck, of course. That being the and with the sun being the final energy in the deck, it shows me that it's a very mutual energy that you both want each other. All right, let's get a message from the wisdom of the oracle to finish off. I really feel like this is a positive message, guys, that you really do want to be together. And yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle to finish the reading. Okay, can I get one or two messages? All right, here we go. Okay, we have got Thinker and Treasure Island. Not really surprised about that. It does look as though I did, I did feel very much at the beginning of this read, before I even started reading that, you know, you guys are both thinking very heavily about, you guys are both thinking very heavily about this connection, about where it's going, about what the possibilities are, about whether you can get through this energy. I feel like you've had a very challenging connection, a very turbulent connection, a very up and down, on and off connection. And I feel as though you're really, you know, focusing on, can we get through this? Is this going to be enough? You know, um, let's think very deeply about, you know, whether we can get through this. So that's what the energy I'm feeling from that. And with Treasure Island, I feel as though with all, you know, if you have a really close look, you've got some beautiful energies here. Like 
we have literally got you know what looks like little love hearts flying around here treasure you know treasure is literally about having everything you want right it's about being happy seeking treasure receiving treasure you know treasure island shows me that in this connection you guys have a very abundant connection you love each other there's a mutual connection here you guys guys have a mutual love for each other and that's what I felt from the very beginning in this. So it really is just about whether, you know, if this is your message, whether you're willing to forgive this person for the wrongdoings that they have, you know, committed. Because, um, you know, from the very beginning, we've got the Justice card, the Devil card, you know, the Death card. There's been an ending here, there's no doubt about it. And I feel like this person wants to return to your life as the overall energy is the Ace of Cups, the Justice and the Two of Cups. And it's really up to you whether you want to accept this person back into your life based on what they share with you, based on what, you know, the apology that they give to you at the bottom of the deck you know from the tarot we've got the page of cups this person does want to apologize to you this person wants to make it right this person you know has a lot of energy here where they see you as their counterpart you know they 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 love you deeply but this person has done the wrong thing by you and they have expanded outside of this connection and it's really up to you whether you want to accept this person back um there's a lot of healing energy here this person is keeping an eye on you this person you know has had other things impacting you know their this relationship but it does look like very soon they're going to come in here they're going to be very playful with you um, and you know they want to they want you to give this relationship another chance is what I'm seeing here um, they want to seduce you they're watching you like I said there's been a runner chase of dynamic going on here um, and they feel like there's a karmic you know connection here between the two two of you and I kind of feel like they think that you know things are replaying over and over again and they're kind of fed up with it or you're fed up with it or both of you are fed up with it Maybe you need to stop replaying events over and over again. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. All right, guys, that is your message. Um, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get updated when I up upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.